Hello, everybody. Welcome to a review video that I've gotten uh, last month. In last month, I have unboxed a GTX 950 from ASUS. I don't have much stuff to say about this video corner. <coughs> Now, uh, spending a little bit of time figure, um, looking at the information, which this is my script back here. Um, <coughs> so, um, I had I spent a week playing games with the video con, get to know the video con getting to know the behavior of this too. Plus I bought one more GTX 950 and put an SLI for the heck of it. So uh, we can we can uh, begin after the intro people. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's begin, what the heck we can begin with, um, so, what we can do is talk about the, uh, GTX 950, talk about, and, uh, talk about what NVIDIA was releasing the video card for. Now, this video card has been released for uh, MOBA, uh, uh, people who play MOBA games. That, that was the uh, original tense idea with, uh, with this GTX 950. So, um, so that's what, that's what they released it for. Plus, it's a video card that is between 100 bucks and 200 bucks. In between those price. So, um, we can get down to the detail of this video card. So, let's talk about the video card a bit. <coughs> So, the one of the first thing we're gonna say about this is this is a Maxwell uh, Octa Octatech. Um, this is a Maxwell uh, cord, which is not that on. So um, you gain that. So, we're going to read a little more, and we are looking at NVIDIA website, which you can Google or search, or you can use your uh, before search provider, and you can type in GTX 950, and there should be a link towards, um, towards the, um, towards, uh, towards NVIDIA website. So, uh, we can go to, a uh, MOBA game. So, um, so when we go to that, the first thing, the, um, they are showing off is um, 19 by 20 by 1080 at maximum setting. So they have about about look like uh, like 10 games for my eye that's estimating. 
So, the force on the top of the list, and excuse me not paying attention to the camera, but this is the one I, I am looking at. So, we got uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Metro Last Light, Far Cry uh, 4, uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Tomb Raider, Bioshock, um, the, uh, William, uh, Reborn, which I will overlay a tax, uh, Grid Auto, Sport, Battlefield, Heroes of the Storm, Dota, uh, A League of Legend. So the comparing, uh, the, uh, the comparing, uh, six fifth, uh, six fifty, uh, versus GTX nine fifty. Now, obviously, the GTX nine fifty is going to run away from, uh, the the uh the GTX six fifty GTX six fifty would be a older generation video card. So, um. So that's, that's not, that's going to lose, because every new generation, it's, it's going to get faster, and this is what the chart is, so, I, I will overlay this particular screenshot of this, um, of this chart, so you can get a better idea of it, or a better visual idea of it. And uh, <clears throat> they're talking about uh, the uh, GeForce Experience, which is a software that they include with their uh, driver, which is a a software that you can um, record your games and uh, play games with your friends. Um, it's a never endless listing with this GeForce experience. Um, it does, the one of the other thing too is uh, making sure your games is in the correct optimized setting. And you can uh, play with a buddy, too, if you, um, being some of the game can support, like, a, a co, uh, a co, um, co-person, or whatever you want, whatever, uh, game it is. So, um, but, <coughs> it's a never-ending, it, it's a never-ending, um, endless thing that NVIDIA is always adding to this <coughs> GeForce experience. So, um... <coughs> <coughs> so, gaming store here. And, um... They have... On their website, or on their page about this GTX 950, um, they have uh, um, input lint, uh, uh, input lag. So, um, which I don't know this half time. I had, I don't know this any lag today. So, obviously, they have a little video of it. And, um, they have a, uh, response time for, uh, Dota 2, so they have, like, a, <coughs> like, a, um, this is the, <coughs> they have a, a chart that will overlay of a mouse, so, Then they have another joint. 
Uh, talking about now it's time to upgrade. <clears throat> and we're gonna go back. And we, um. What else are they talking about? So, on the side. <clears throat> let's see here. Um. There's a check mark for G Sync. <coughs> so, if you got G Sync monitor, you can use it. <coughs> So, but I don't believe that by. <coughs> I I believe not that by would not have, G Sync. So we got uh, the normal GPU 2.0, and um, Shadow Walk, uh, Surround Adapted Free Sync, Physics Kudo, uh, Kudo. And um, M MFAA, DLSL, DirectX 12, <coughs> and SIL, something like that. So, so now we're done looking at, at NVIDIA page, which I will <coughs> overlay a bit about. <coughs> Which I haven't done a screen a screen a screen capture. I'm gonna take a little snapshot. So if you want to check out for your own your own time, you can check it out. So now up now we down to um <coughs> the PC port pickle. Give us. <coughs> detail <coughs> excuse that coffiness um so the video call on the GTX 950 I got is from Asus so uh we do have PCI Express 16 uh PCI 16 2 gig it's a MOBA game called 2 gig um, so your core clock would be 1.17 gigahertz. So, TPB, which is your wattage. So, it's going to be pulling a uh, 90 watt. Uh, it does have two fans. Apparently, it support G syncs. So, you can SLI. So you do have a little SLI thing on the video corn. And um so you got your normal t -t 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 You got your normal clock. And we are looking at Google. So um when it's boosting so it go boost up to uh, thirteen fifty five uh, megahertz. So, so that's most of the specification. And uh, let's go to price and availability. So, like I was talking about, um, you do have, um, it's between 100 bucks and uh, 200 bucks that the MSRP uh, price range, and depending on the place you get it at, depending if you, uh, if you state charge a ridiculous uh, tax or not <coughs> if you're Washington it's charging ridiculous tax um, it could 
it could jump up to two uh over two hundred bucks depending on your tax. So in my area <coughs> <coughs> So in my area I picked them up at uh Fly's I got a price match with Speed Nate which Speed Nate um um Right now they uh <coughs> right now um it's hundred and fifty nine or it's hundred and fifty nine then over the over the time period of this video called it may go down low a little, it may go up a little. So it's not gonna be the same probably as we speak but um I picked mine up my GTX 950 at flies <coughs> and um you can pick it up at like uh, B and H or New Egg which is a tax free which I have purchased personally I have purchased item from Newegg and B and H, and I've looked at my receipt very carefully, and they have it. They don't charge tax. The only, um, the only once why a casual thing is a uh, shipping, uh, but that Luigi Newegg, Luigi Newegg will charge um. Uh, a shipping every once in a while because um, because sometime New Egg will have a deal on it. So I've gotten a deal with those video with one of the uh, two of those video corn. So <coughs> um, uh, feel free to jump on these. So <coughs> um, so we're done talking about. Prices. If you want to get at, at flies with no price match, it would be a hundred seventy four dollar um, asking price. Then taxes depend on the area. Um, when by the time you add taxes to it, it would be a hundred ninety one or one ninety one. So. Um, so that's, so that's the price if you're going to pick it up at store or, um, or pick it up online. So, we got this out of the way, and, uh, let's talk about the experience I have had with the video con. So, Asus <coughs> is, <coughs> excuse that again, so the big advertisement with the box is a uh, 20% um, 20 cooler and silent gaming. The uh, fan doesn't turn on until you get to up to like 80 degrees, which I disagree with that. Um, <clears throat> fans are so silent at low RPM, I rather see a uh, fan starting up at a slow RPM at um, 34 degrees and slowly ramp up if the temperature is continuing up. Which that's why I have set for my video call. I have the fan turn on at Nice and low RPM at, <coughs> excuse me again, at 34 degrees, a nice low RPM, and um, uh, they're very quiet at low RPM. I don't hear them, so so they're they're a very quiet fan at a very low RPM, so you don't have to. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me again. So you don't have to worry about um, 
hearing those fan at a low RPM. I do have a comment if you buy these video cards and if you use a software to control these fan uh, with a fan curve, um, they at a nice and low RPM they they will um, they will um, they will be quiet. So they've been doing good with me. Um, <clears throat> the roughest time I had <coughs> with these video cards. It's not the video card hardware, it's the software that came with these, with these video card, which is GPU tweak on. Which, for my, for my luck, some reason, I did not have a true luck of with this, uh, with the GPU tweak on. So, I have tried EVGA. That one I have of time. So now currently I'm trying MSI Afterburner. <coughs> <coughs> which excuse me was that again. Which the fan control from M uh from MSI been okay. So that's the only complaint I have uh with these uh with ASUS, uh, the hardware side, that's okay. That's the software that ASUS provide you with. So, long term, it's really not... I have enough time with it. So, but uh, for short term, uh, the playing around, goofing around, it's, it's fine for goofing around, but anytime you did want to have it, that's uh, one in the background when you boot up you can be on I find I find that process kind of hard for the GPU tweak on software I I always had to start my uh, I had to stop when I boot up Windows so they do have that option but for some reason that option doesn't let the video call it, um, doesn't let the, um, not the video call it, doesn't allow the software for the fan, doesn't store that with the window. I, I don't know what's going on with GPU Twiggle with me, but for some reason I had bad luck. So, uh, but, uh, I would, I do recommend, uh, now MSI after pulling on out. So, <clears throat> so, uh, review on these, it's kind of a mixed bag, because right now, um, some people did have an issue with these video corn, so, in one of the reviews of the video corn, on uh, Newick was a person watching a live stream, and his screen go blank. So this is why I I just bought from Flies because of that one review. Uh, if someone didn't say nothing about it, I probably would order on, I probably would order on online. <coughs> but um, I did want order. I did want to buy it from the store. So they haven't. The video called haven't. I haven't went blank on me yet, so hoping crossing my finger and I only for a long term it doesn't do it. <clears throat> so, uh I have not too much to say. Hardware wise it work, it's just the software from the company that I have a major complaint or a major gripe about. So um, the appearance of the video card from fun back, um, <coughs> the PCB is a black, which I really like, 
uh, very, very nice, very nice touch from Asus. The front grill is when black. <coughs> Excuse me again. When black, which is a perfect theme I am aiming for with my custom belt computer. When black. So, um, IO range. So you get, um, HDMI, uh, dual link, single DVI, and display port. And you get, um, a quad, uh, SLI finger, and you get your normal PCI Express with this video card, so you can uh, slot in just easy, and you do have a uh, relatively easy power connector, so you only have a, a single power connector for the video card, which is a six pin, so it's a single, it's, it's a single six pin, if I remember correctly. So you don't need to have two six pin or, or, um, or a extra pin, so. So very easy to power, if you're on a budget, so you can, you can use a, like a 450 watt, 450 watt power supply and you would do fine. <coughs> Excuse me again. So. That's. Pretty much. It. With the video corn. I have. Nothing to say. Now before I forget to. I almost forget. This is the funny thing too is they the video corn have a light. <clears throat> and this is where um this may may turn a, a person off with this video corn <coughs> or not. There is a light for the video corn. So there is uh, a white light and a red light. So white light mean good power and red light mean bad power. So, um, and when you shut off the PC, the light is still on. So you can't turn it off somehow with the switch or what. The only way is to cover it up. So, um, I'm not quite sure if the manufacturer is doing that or not or what. <laughs> Um, I think ASUS is doing it. I'm not quite sure if MSI or EVJ is doing it. So, but if you're a night person, these light can be bright. But over time, these light will dim. So, maybe when you get these video called brand new, in a brand new condition from the store, they might be bright at first. But after they after the video card age, the light should be the light would be dimming. So so that's that one more thing too. Um, <coughs> personally, I'm not a big fan of light. But oh well, that's fine. So. <coughs> Before we uh, get off, we uh, we talk about comment on my YouTube channel. So, uh, let's see here. This is well. By the way, fast for this. Should have prepared for this, but oh well. <clears throat> okay, camera SD card. Well, 
camera decided to do this auto stop but um one thing i before i forget about this too i was originally going to do a comment being we were getting close to the end of the video but um let's talk about some of the game i've been playing before we move on before we move to comment so first my first game i normally play uh, wasting room, waste, uh, waste room, uh, experience, um, uh, what the heck, uh, do 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 store conflict, team of fortress, uh, untorn, and, uh, war, uh, sundorn. So, these games are averaging a pretty nicely frame, um, I'm av- Averaging like a hundred frame or hundred FPS with these uh, video corn So but there's some as people getting like 60 frame or 90 frame or <coughs> a pretty good frame and um, Right now I have a, just a simple like a nine dollar no yeah a uh, simple little mod, no, no, I will overlay a picture, or I will overlay an Amazon page of this mod I got, but this is a cheap uh, mod, this is the cheapest one that have a DVI connector on it, so you can probably find another mod for much cheap price, but you might find one not without no DVI, but if you found one with a DVI connector, I don't mind if you want to comment, which I will give you a comment shout out too if you are interested in doing that. So, <clears throat> I am not aiming for high resolution. I'm a casual gaming, so this video card will fit my criteria okay. So, I don't have <clears throat> no complaint with that. Haven't failed up the 2 gig on the video card yet. So not long, not that long ago, I <coughs> I bought another one, and now it's line two of these video corn. Um, I've been playing on Tom a lot. <coughs> I've been getting uh, some of the scene will go up to like over two hundred frame, and go back down to like in the hundred between hundred and two hundred. So so that's. That's the uh, game I've been playing, and I'm on driver. I have the basic NVIDIA driver, so I have driver 365.19, so that's what I have. But um, that's the one thing before I forgot about is talking about games I play with. <coughs> So, but we can move on to the comment now. Being this camera, they decide to do this auto thing, which I don't get about. So, like, <coughs> so the car, uh, <coughs> excuse that. The person who commented on the unboxing of the GTX 950, um, very real name, I will overlay a text or a picture or what. Person comment on like the Hellcat and enjoy the new GTX 950. And I'm gonna say thank you for saying that. Uh, that was a very sweet comment of the person. Very sweet comment, very sweet. I, I did enjoy it. Good job, mate. No, I think it. Uh, another user, which I can't say it right, uh, but I lately have been getting a weird username, and comment on my case, and he ta um he comment, good job, mate. Thanks for showing. I think I will get one. So my video has been very impactful for people in decision. So I'm happy to see that. And are you rich from this person? Um, 
Uh, I do have, I do a lot of lawn business in my neighborhood, so it seemed like I might be witch. So, I might be, or make it sound like. I think I made it sound like the blue way drive was like, um, like, hundred, hundred buckish, something like that. So, I think. Same person with a wow. And he called me on, or he or she have called me on the Blue Way Drive. And Fish Hatchery person, um, <coughs> not gonna say the username, I will overlay something. <coughs> so he was asking, does White Variety score on the Fish Hatchery? And when they, when they got it, set up, or wasn't set up, so, got a comment back, <clears throat> um, so, I believe these on the new comment have worn in. So, if you want to comment on my video, feel free to uh, comment on video, and I will take my time to sh do a comment, uh, comment, uh, shout out. Hopefully, not coughing, too, so, <clears throat> hoping that, hoping the next video will be way better. So, uh, feel free to, uh, subscribe. Or Google Plus me, if whatever easiest to follow me. And uh, like the video if you really like it. And uh, check out the video description or, or the video um, list. Then click on show me more. <coughs> You'll find email address. You'll find Amazon wish list that can support the channel. Or help you guys how to build a computer. Or give you guys an idea how to build a computer. And you're all welcome to get the item if you feel like, if you really feel like it. And I am part of a couple of forms, so like Linus Tech Tip, uh, Tech Syndicate, PC Port Picker. And I, I'm on a photography page. <coughs> being I own a Canon T3i, so I have a Flickr page, a link to my Flickr page with my awesome photography and a little bit of drawing. So, I do a Photoshop drawing and I do photography with my lovely Canon T3i. And I will see you next time, people. I hope I get feel better, so I will catch you next time and see you later so yeah